From the dusty corners of forgotten storage units to the shining world of hidden gems, these are the rarest treasure discoveries on Storage Wars. Let's start with an art collection worth thousands of dollars. Daryl Sheets had a remarkable discovery. He took a chance on a storage locker, winning it with a bid of $3,600, which to many could be an expensive purchase. Little did he know this gamble would turn into a jackpot. Inside the locker, Sheets stumbled upon a treasure of artwork by Frank Gutierrez, a renowned artist. The art collection, assessed on site by an expert, was valued at approximately $300,000. What added a unique twist to this discovery was the revelation that the locker had once belonged to Frank Gutierrez himself. Sheets didn't just uncover valuable artwork, he found the artist's personal collection. In a heartwarming turn of events, Sheets got in touch with Gutierrez and their connection went beyond the world of storage auctions. Sheets shared on Twitter in December 2012 that he not only had the pleasure of making this extraordinary find, but also had the opportunity to return many of Gutierrez's personal items. Interestingly, this discovery came on the heels of public claims made by another cast member, Dave Hester, who alleged that Storage Wars was not entirely authentic. He suggested that some items were planted in the lockers for dramatic effect. While these claims raised questions about the show's authenticity, the A&E Network, which airs Storage Wars, denied Hester's allegations. The episode began like any other, with Dave Hester bidding on a seemingly unremarkable storage unit. He secured the locker for $1,700, a significant investment in the world of storage auctions. Little did he know that this locker held a secret that would rewrite his fortunes. As the locker's doors swung open revealing its contents, Hester's eyes fell upon a collection of comic books. What made this discovery truly exceptional was the presence of Amazing Fantasy No. 15, a comic book that held an iconic status in the world of collectors. This issue marked the first appearance of Spider-Man, one of Marvel Comics' most beloved superheroes. What made Hester's find even more interesting was the pristine condition of the comic book. For collectors, the preservation of a vintage comic in such remarkable shape is a rarity that significantly enhances its value. The estimated worth of this remarkable discovery was reported to be around $10,000, making it a substantial return on Hester's initial investment. Moving on, Dave Hester struck gold with a locker containing 6,000 newspapers from the day Elvis Presley passed away in 1977. When Hester secured the unit, he couldn't have anticipated the treasure he was about to uncover. The newspapers and headlines from the day Elvis Presley passed away were not just a piece of music history. They were a time capsule capturing the emotions and reactions of that moment. What made this find even more remarkable was the financial gain it brought. Dave Hester's investment in the storage unit, which may have seemed substantial at the time, resulted in a staggering $90,000 profit. Now let's switch gears to a more lighthearted moment. Daryl Sheets stumbled upon an eerie discovery in a storage unit animal skeletons. According to Zoe, these animal skeletons emitted an unpleasant odor, and she was quick to declare that they smell really bad. Well, we all know there are some rather unexpected and often strange items found in storage units. Intrigued by their discovery, Daryl and Zoe decided to seek an appraisal for the skeletons, leading them to a place dubbed the Bone Room. Zoe and I found a place called the Bone Room, and it's exactly what it sounds like, a room with a lot of bones. Whoa, look at the owl. There, they received surprising news. The animal skeletons were deemed illegal to sell. The reason? They were classified as roadkill, and certain regulations govern the sale of such items. In a twist, Daryl decided to give the bones to his granddaughter, Zoe. Yeah, you're not supposed to sell roadkill. Do you know what? Because you like these bones, I think I'll just let you keep them. Cool. While this find may not have yielded a financial output, like some of the more valuable discoveries on the show, it really left a lasting impression as a delightful and lighthearted moment in the world of storage wars. In another memorable find, Barry Weiss uncovered a wooden sculpture with glass eyes and dentures. This sculpture was no ordinary piece of art. It featured a wooden head adorned with glass eyes and dentures. While its appearance might have seemed peculiar to some, Barry recognized its artistic value and potential worth. 
Upon appraisal, the sculpture was valued at an impressive $6,000. $6,000. And maybe more. Are you serious? Moving on, Barry Weiss yet again invested $1,500 in a storage unit and discovered a vintage arcade peep show machine. Little did he know that he was in for an interesting surprise. Inside the storage unit, Barry unearthed a vintage arcade peep show machine, a relic from a bygone era. Recognizing the uniqueness of his find, Barry decided to seek an expert's opinion and took the peep show machine to a silent movie historian for appraisal. The appraisal revealed that Barry's investment had paid off handsomely. The vintage arcade peep show was valued at over $5,000. You'd think you were watching a motion picture. This is really, now I think the, the plot thickens. The girl is falling in love. Turning his initial bid into a profitable venture that left him with a substantial return. Up next, Mary Padian, renowned as the Junkster and a familiar face on Storage Wars Texas, was known for her keen eye for hidden treasures. In one memorable episode, she and her business partner secured a storage locker that held an antique candle maker, a mold designed for crafting dozens of candles. However, the initial intentions for this unique find differed between Mary and her partner. While her partner proposed selling the item for a modest sum of $50, Mary saw its potential value and decided to take matters into her own hands. To get a more accurate assessment of the candle maker's worth, Mary visited a candle shop for an appraisal. The outcome of this evaluation left her surprised. The antique candle maker was valued at a substantial $1,400. At least $1,400. Oh my God. Good job. Yes. Moving on, Ivy Calvin, a seasoned bidder on Storage Wars, went on an adventure with a locker that initially appeared to be filled to the brim with an assortment of items, mostly packed in nondescript black plastic garbage bags. While the bulk of the content seemed like ordinary junk, Ivy's persistence led to an unexpected discovery. Amidst the sea of bags, Ivy unearthed a woman's professional leather motorcycle racing suit, complete with built-in body armor. This find stood out as a remarkable gem hidden within the clutter. Recognizing the potential value of the motorcycle racing suit, Ivy sought the expertise of a local women's motorcycle club for an appraisal. Their assessment left him surprised, as they valued the suit at a substantial $2,500. Probably be around $2,500. Whoa, $2,500? You saved the day. I knew women's clothing was expensive. Up next, in an episode from the eighth season of Storage Wars, Mary Pattian emerged victorious in an auction for a storage locker that held a pair of intriguing wooden and leather contraptions. Upon closer examination, these unusual items were identified as Bactrian camel saddles, notable for their distinctive double hump design. The historical significance of these saddles added to their value, with experts suggesting that they might date back to the 18th century. The appraisal of the pair of Bactrian camel saddles revealed their value to be a substantial $3,000, which was a significant win for Mary. I'm going to say $1,500. Oh, wow, for both? Each? Nice. $3,000? That's double! In another memorable episode of Storage Wars, the dynamic duo of Brandy Passante and Jared Schultz made a clever purchase acquiring a locker for a modest sum of $230. While the locker appeared mostly empty at first glance, it held seven cardboard boxes that piqued their curiosity. Diving into one of these boxes, Brandy and Jared uncovered a number of official Star Trek prop replicas, including a phaser and communicator, each accompanied by certificates of authenticity. These iconic items were more than just collectibles. They were a piece of television history hailing from the original 1960s series. What made this discovery even more remarkable was the fact that the set included an autograph from none other than William Shatner, renowned for his portrayal of Captain Kirk in the iconic series. Upon appraisal, the value of this Star Trek prop replica set was estimated at a substantial $4,000. And in the fact that you have Shatner's autograph, I'd say for both of them, $4,000. What? a remarkable return on their modest investment. Want to know what a treasure in the 21st century looks like? 
Well, one of the most extraordinary and valuable finds in the history of storage wars was a true treasure hidden away in a seemingly normal storage locker. A cache of cash amounting to a staggering $7.5 million, securely locked inside a safe. The winning buyer of the locker initially had no idea about the incredible contents concealed within. It was only after the auction that the true extent of their jackpot was revealed when they discovered the locked safe. Recognizing the potential value, they sought the assistance of a locksmith to crack open the safe's secrets. When the safe's door swung open, the new owners were left in awe as they gazed upon a fortune in cash that had been hidden away, waiting to be rediscovered. However, the story took another twist when a lawyer representing the original owners made contact with the winning couple. The lawyer offered a reward in exchange for the return of the cash, revealing the backstory behind the hidden fortune. After negotiations, the new owners eventually agreed to a $1.2 million reward for returning the rest of the cash, marking a remarkable turn of events in the world of storage wars. Lastly, Jared Schultz and Brandy Passante known for their pursuit of good deals and profitable finds on storage wars, had a memorable moment in season six that turned My Little Pony into My Little Profit. Their adventure began with the purchase of a storage locker for a mere $50. However, what they discovered inside this locker was a delightful surprise, a giant collection of My Little Pony toys. The collection, Every Little Girl's Dream, caught Brandy's attention as she sensed its potential value. They decided to have the collection appraised, and the results were astonishing. The My Little Pony collection was valued at $875 to It's worth at least $875. That is awesome. Could you believe we made almost a thousand bucks on a $50 unit? Turning their $50 investment into a tidy profit. As we conclude our journey through the rarest treasure discoveries on storage wars, one thing becomes evident. The world of storage auctions is filled with surprises. What appears to be junk can turn out to be a fortune, and every locker holds the potential for a life-changing discovery. So, the next time you see a padlocked storage unit, remember that behind that door might just lie the rarest treasure waiting to be unearthed. From dusty storage units to surprising art collections, these were the most astonishing discoveries on Storage Wars. It just goes to show that hidden treasures can be found where you least expect them.